Hello world, welcome to video number 162. Today I have for you a fix on how to resolve the issue with the AMD Catalyst Control Center problem of it scaling your new monitor. For example, three people have commented on my LG22 uh, model number 22MP55HQ that their monitor does not fully show a edge to edge picture. Instead, it shows a picture which has a one inch or so bezel all around black bezel, um, black border just to be uh, more specific, all around the actual monitor instead of it like I mentioned already showing a full screen of it. So I'll show you today on how to fix that once the program is downloaded which I already have. So let's take a look. So the first thing that you want to do is to open up your web browser. Mine is Google Chrome. So what you want to do is go to google.com or .ca, type in AMD Catalyst uh, Control Center, go to the download drivers. Now for this you have two different options. You can either one do the auto detect and install which is going to be the easiest thing for everybody without having to do any any extra work. So you can do that or you can do manual which in my in my in my case is going to be a desktop graphics and the model is going to be the Radeon R7 series and the product will be R7 2XX series or auto uh, detect and install install my operating systems Windows 7 64 bit so we'll select that and display result so with this specific one I received three different results the first one there is the non beta which was released in September 29th 2014 and the second and the third are both betas I kind of don't trust them at the moment just because of course it's a beta and it's gonna have issues so I recommend to just stick with the current up-to-date non beta version so once you have that downloaded or narrow down whichever one you do click download and start to install the program or well, not really install yet more like unpacking the program so once you have downloaded we're just gonna wait here for a few for a couple of, uh, seconds here while it's downloading I've sped this uh, this small section up so it doesn't take up too much time so yeah moving on once it's downloaded what you want to do is click yes to the designation for the actual folder wait for it to extract everything into that folder that you have selected it's just going to take some time for it those three people actually one of those three found out exactly how to fix this to my knowledge i did not know that i did this already but i'm not claiming that i found out first so thank you to that person for helping out the other two it took a while but finally someone has yes my start and i've blocked it out because of privacy reasons so once it's downloaded what you want to type is cat which equals to amd catalyst control center open that up once it is opened up what you want to go to is the scaling options under digital flat panel so once you have that open you want to turn the actual dial all the way to overscan which will then as you'll see in a couple of seconds which will then blow up the picture all over on the monitor itself so it's it no longer has that black border surrounding the actual image which I'll show you right now with the another video that I captured with my iPhone so here it is taking a look at it as you can see I'm I'm scrolled all the way to under so I'm gonna scroll over to the right far to the right and yeah as you can see how the image is moving back and forth back and forth so yeah that's about it now you have fixed your problem hopefully it does really help other people uh, about this problem I know it did for me when I first had my AMD graphics card it gave me this problem but it wasn't until that one person that third person who had the same exact problem had commented that I realized that I already had the solution which unfortunately I'm very sorry that I did not that I was not able to tell you this same solution so again i do apologize uh yeah everything is in the description so you guys Go thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check out my facebook instagram and twitter links that are in the description below for more information about new items which may be featured in future videos